Oh, interesting. Spanish. That is something... Yeah, it's a good arena sif as well. Yeah, Spanish do have good monks, right? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I thought they were... Uh, yeah, they have pretty okay... I'm not entirely sure what they do get. They actually get... No, wait, Everyth now I'm... Everything. Perfect monks. Block printing, yeah, redemption... Yeah, yeah, for a second I was confused because the monk was an Aztec one, so... I yeah. thought maybe I had something wrong, but... No, that was just the tax tree being weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start with Tar's map first. Take a quick look. Um, first glance, it looks pretty decent. He has, uh, although he does have his second gold and second stone outside, um, but his stone. No, no, I, I take that back. It's not too good, especially since his stone and his gold are close to the walls as well. He does have one relic inside, but that's not like really overpowered. <laughs> then it's, uh, he does have one more gold inside, uh, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. But no, yeah, well, no useful back base, nothing there. Other than that, two, there is one more, one more inside, one more outside. So yeah, it's it's not the best map I've ever seen. Mm, I don't really like the main goal being forward, but it really makes up that he has another one in the back just in case, even though it's kind of awkward in the forest there. Um, and as you mentioned, like the stone also being a little bit forward and one outside of the walls, I feel like that can be really important in this matchup because both of these series both want to get a lot of castles out. Yeah. Yeah, Spanish castle drop could work, although conquistadors are pretty hard to mess up. Yeah, but it actually works pretty well when micro well. You just need to be careful against monks, but mains do not really tend to go monks in general. No. Um, and if we look at Gooby's map, his the front of his map is actually really empty. There's a border and that's about it, and one stone. But he has another stone in the back, so that's pretty neat. He has another gold in the back, which is pretty nice as well. Yeah, so um, both... yeah, and as I mentioned, his main gold simply is really safe. Yeah, yeah, no way that or well, unless uh, Gooby is uh, or uh, Taurus is going like castle drop and then into plumes. And if you're going uh, to pet up past the walls, then it's still pretty close to the wall. But other than that, no archery. Yeah, or... okay. But it's not really mm. like if he gets plumes next to the wall or if he castle drops, then it's not really in, under immediate threat. Yeah, yeah. So that in that regard, it's already better than uh, than Tar's map. Yeah, indeed. The relics are actually really nicely distributed in this line through the middle, except for that one in Tar's base. Thanks for the host, Tato. Do I see that? Yes, that I do see that correctly. We are casting some games from the Dutch Cup. This is the lower uh, match, but not less interesting per se. We are playing the... or this is the second game already. Gooby versus Tar uh. Arena. As Gooby won match one, we're now at Tars home map, which indeed is Arena, Mains versus Spanish, if you just tune in. Mm -hmm. And we have just discussed the maps and what we kind of expect to see from the players. Well, we could actually elaborate on that a little bit, because we've been talking about the castle units, obviously. But there's Ooh. more than that to it. Gooby losing a villager. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, that's uh, one minus one villager for, for Gooby. The ball or at our base Yeah, goes. he lost it to okay, the ball. So. Um, I'm just kind of curious whether one of the players is really going to get the relics in on time, because I feel like that is a mistake that is really easy to make if you're a bit more of a newer player. Yeah. Uh, because these re relics, they are really important to get in time, but they are so easy to ignore. Yeah, I, I, I remember that when I started out, or whilst I, I have to be honest, still I don't really take a relics too often, but yeah, in arena it's it's just the most. Yeah, just the, um, especially if you have something like mains versus Spanish. I I think this Sith matchup sounds like something that could um, uh, that could become an extended match. Like it isn't going to end after someone mushes and either he wins or he fails. This is going to be a game where we will probably have plumed arches against conquistadors at one point. 
and they are going to uh, they will both be using lots of gold in every fight coming up yeah by the way how do plumes uh, are our pl uh, match or how do you say this plumes versus conquistadors who would win i would say plumes are a little bit faster than conquistadors but conquistadors are more powerful so no, I think Conquistadors deal a bit more damage and are a bit more tanky, but also um, eco-wise, I think Plumed Archers are a bit friendlier. Yeah. Um, Conquistadors might be a bit harder to mass up, really. Yeah, that's also a so, thing. But... Hmm. It's really hard to say. Um, obviously, Siege is something that might end up play, having a big role in this as well. Um, and if we look at Spanish Siege, they do have Siege Rams, which is yeah. pretty nice. Do not have SO, but do have Onager. Yeah, I... Well, the Siege Rams are complementing the Plumes really nice. And for Spanish... Um, no, it would yeah, be the Spanish same. Yeah, Spanish is really important to use them against the Plumes. Yeah, yeah, for sure, to tank the, to tank the arrow fire. Mm-hmm. And obviously the siege ramps for the mains, they're going to be a bit less effective, but eventually you want to get these castles down from the opponent. Ooh, and that is something something I love to talk about. I mention it every time when I'm streaming a game where um, it really comes on to unique units, but that is castle placements. Because uh, yeah. how and where are you going to put them? Yeah, in the... you can be really greedy and go for map mm -hmm. control, but sorry, what did you want to say? Yeah, no, in the case of Gooby, with the Spanish, I think he rather wants to go back a little bit, so put a castle defensive, mass, make sure that he masses up enough Conquistadors, and then go for uh, Tsar, because Conquistadors are fairly mobile anyway, so it doesn't take them too much time to to, uh, to go to the other side. Yeah, same really holds for Plumes, though. I mean, both units are actually very mobile. Um, hmm. It's just really a consideration, because... It is. It can be so nice to be a bit greedy and get your castles a bit more forward because if that gives you control of an additional gold, that can make or break the game for you. Yeah. But on the other hand, if you're going to lose these castles too quickly, you lack production, then what are you going to fall back on? Yeah, and, and taking or going back to Gooby, I think if he did scout the stone that is outside of the bay, so if he wants to deny that for Tar then that would be a nice castle placement as well. Second gold could also be possible, but that's a little uh, little weird placement, I would say. Because it's so far away from Tar's base, relatively. Yeah, indeed. I don't think you can really go for a castle drop in such a map, because if you get your castle too far forward, you're going to wait with your production, and you need to be kind of careful in such a scenario. But I was more thinking, like, maybe if you have one castle in your base already, you can get your second one, on one of the extra golds on the map on the top side or on the bottom side. Yeah. Um, I think that's something worth considering, especially maybe for Gooby, where the extra gold in the north is actually kind of close to his uh, third gold outside of the walls. Um, by the way, we've been talking about how we expect a castle to go down for both players, but... Tar actually isn't on stone yet, and is actually getting Monastery up right now. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so he might want to, to grab the relics, but he will need some, mm. some units to help him with that, because the scout is still, from Gooby, is still, you know, running around. Yeah, getting a Monastery up is pretty usual, I mean, to get the relics in, but... It's kind of weird that he isn't immediately dropping a castle at this point, because that means he isn't really going to get any uh, army out. And you cannot really rely on monks as mains, because you do not yeah. get redemption, so you have no way to deal with siege. Yeah, but that is, of course, if you if the opponent is, is getting siege out, but... Um, I don't know, it's still... Looking at, the, uh, looking at Gooby, he's not getting a castle out just yet. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he's he, going he to is, drop a castle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So castle and, and town center, that's why I was doubting it for a second. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm, but then again, monks. Monks versus conquistadors, like you said. Uh, so if, if, if Gooby is not backing him his army up with siege, then Tar might still be fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty true. I mean, it can work against the Kongs, but it's just kind of a gamble, you know? 
Yeah, for Ooh, sure. Oh, he actually gets to convert nice. on the scout. That is yeah. free, mon uh, free relics for him. Yeah, because now Gooby doesn't have anything to defend the relics. Uh, the castle will go up, but he will get, yeah, have to get... Yeah, 15%. Yeah. He will have to get a few conquistadors out, and that will take him some time. Maybe he can con uh, blah, 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 how do you call it? Fight for the last relic. Yeah. Um, but the other should be in by the time that the conks are really because you cannot send one conquistador because you run into two monks and you just gave him a conquistador and yeah. that's not something you want to start the game off with. No, but that, yeah, um, that is what I what I thought as well. Cast, getting castle up, conquistador slow to mess up, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Tar will get a lot of relics. Yeah, he should actually get all of them. I'm kind of hoping they put it on Conquest. I hope so too, we can check that. Uh, that Alright, we... Conquest game, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I even then, it with all the relics... <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah. It's still kind of a long-term uh, win condition, isn't it? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I'll keep an eye on how much he got from Relic all this game. I have to say, Tar did a really good job getting vision of all the relics because he exactly knows where all of them are, except for the one in the complete left, which he barely missed. But hey, he has two scouts. He has all the time in the world to find it. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, Gooby now kind of stagnating on his, uh, on his Conquistador production. He's getting one new now, but they are already slow to mess up and he's also not making much of a hurry. And... Yeah, he doesn't really have the eco for it. He's just kind of trying to squeeze one out and not stopping his veil production in the meanwhile. Could have been a bit smoother. Yeah, and he's also only on two town centers, so he's not like crazy booming either. I think he, by him not doing uh, one of the two, he's, yeah, he's delaying himself with both. Yeah, it was either you go Kongs with one TC or you go three TCs and delay your Kongs a little bit. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, otherwise, otherwise uh, you just don't do both correctly and then you have basically nothing left except a bunch of idle Conquistadors. Mm -hmm. So, um, Tar is not getting any new relics. Oh wait, he grabbed the one in the on the lower end of the map. And the other one, yeah, oh, that's the one he didn't scout. Oh, okay, laps. okay. I thought he didn't scout the uh, the bottom one. Uh, no, no, he got that one. And... Um, there's a barracks going up for Gooby. I'm kind of curious what he's up to. Uh, might he be getting a stable down? I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, like, what could you do in such a scenario? I mean, I would mainly rely on Conquistadors to actually make a move. And yeah. I see a Peter yes, out Peter's. for Gooby, and I like that. Oh, nice. Uh, well, Ducky asking for a re. Hmm, okay. Um, so yeah, Hightower, games after this. I uh, I have all the time in the world, so we could do some games after. Uh, that's a TTC going up for Gooby over here. Yeah, but it's a bit late. It's a bit late. You can see he's slightly behind on Tar, considering village account. Yeah, almost 10. But now, yeah, indeed. With the scout dying from Tar, or... Getting hit, he he will know what's what is up. Yeah, but he didn't spot the Peters, and that's going to be the most important part. Please finish off that scout, yep. Gooby. No. Oh, if that one spots the Peters, then yeah. that can actually be really important. Then uh, uh, Castle going up for Tar at the front. That's going to be really helpful uh, in defending. But Gooby yeah, well, should just find a sweet spot for mm -hmm. his um, Kissidors to break through. Yeah, and I think he, he might he might actually deny it still if he finds it or notices yeah, it. Yeah, if he responds in time. Yeah, I mean, there's only five veils on it and it's five because it's all. There you go. Six. And he should get his monks. Uh, Tar should get his monks. There you go. Trying to convert some. One, yeah, two, actually. Just, like, immediately, but... Insta, insta, uh, insta oh, conversions. Now I suddenly realized maybe Gooby gets the barracks out to get a stable for bloodlines. Ah, that um, might be, yeah. No, it's kind of a logical thing to do. It's hard <laughs> to him though, but he really needs that castle down. And the pizzas are going in. Yeah, although uh, he only has three conquistadors left. Hmm. I mean, it isn't insane, but he got more coming. He has three more in the field right now. 
Um, although the castle is getting up somewhat. Yeah, true, but that doesn't really matter. The, the right office base is open, so you could just uh, walk around the town center yeah, and, and go into the route line. Past it. Um, uh, yeah. But maybe, like, if I would be Tar, I think I would delete one of the farms and just wall that part of. Force the Conquistadors to get past your castle, because that will already be quite a big deal breaker. Yeah, for now Tar is up to Imperial though, so, and he does have the castle up, so if he switches into plumes now, or, or masses up some plumes... He, oh, he's uh... actually even able to wall it off, there's no Kongs really keeping the hole open, so... No. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. No, I think even though Gooby did do a, a fair amount of damage, it's not like it's uh, that much, or... The veil count is basically even right now, and Tar is up to Imperial Age. Imperial Age is super important because Imperial Age is when it gets easy to take down the enemy's castle. Yeah. That's I've... kind of the risk he has right now. Pot Canero is coming through now as well, so getting the right upgrades. Getting another castle up in the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, another one. It's actually one. really nice to ah. <laughs> deal with the conquistadors, but maybe a little bit late. Yeah, well, the conquistadors are still pretty strong, but no, there you go. The plumes yeah, now the plume de dealing with easily it. Deal yeah. with it. And targeting Town Watch as well, messing up more plumes. So, it, yeah, this, this is what I said already, and what everybody knows, that the plumes, they mess up so easily. He only has one castle, but he already has a lot. And they, they, they actually deal pretty nicely with the Conquistadors. Uh, although, Gooby is not on any upgrades yet, so if he would get a few upgrades, then the Plumes yeah, would be... Yeah, that's the problem. He should get a defensive upgrades yeah. for Arches, obviously. Yeah. And, and Bloodlines as well, because that's going to make a whole lot of difference for these units. Oh, by the way, Clayman, welcome. <laughs> we should, we should, you almost played Worms with us, yes, but we should try again, because now I fixed my problems with Worms. And uh, we could do one more game, or we could start a game of worms. Anyway, he even has the eco to get the elite plume oh, arches now. Look so at I really this. want to see yes. that. Yes, look at this. The plumes Ooh, now actually deny the castle. To be honest, um, Ooh, even if with he fire doesn't here. deny it, oh, he the... has a trap out. Yeah, so... okay, but he should not. He should have gone back with the plumes earlier. He's losing a lot of plumes he didn't have to lose. Yeah, that's really a shame. But on the same, at the same time, it's a really cocky um, caster from Gooby, especially knowing his opponent is an imp already, and he is still a few seconds away from him, a few minutes rather. Mm, no, he's getting he's getting pretty close, but indeed, uh, either he will have to get a few fails uh, for us to, to to repair the castle or try to snipe the trebuchet, but. I'm not sure. Yeah, what I is think the he's range. gonna try to snipe, but has a reasonable number of plumes yeah, behind it. Yeah, he shouldn't do that. Two conquistadors and down already. And there's another trebuchet coming up anyway. Yeah, this that was a bit too cocky from Gooby. It's not even doing like it's not like the castle is doing too much anyway. No, oh, indeed, I'm temporarily denying the stone, yeah. but that's not really anything he needs. Yeah, and Gooby getting getting skirmishers, elite even, but. The plumes, uh, unless you have ballistics, the plumes are way too fast anyway. Or yeah, even the if you have ballistics. Yeah, is going to be pretty important. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's an okay way to actually start for now. So I don't think it's a bad decision, because if he's just going to stick to Conquistadors, he is just um, going to be too slow and behind all game, simply in production. Um, so I kind of like it. And obviously, something like ARPS isn't an option for Spanish. No, yeah. So, hmm. What do you think the chances are right now for, for Gooby? I, th I, I don't actually know, because neither of the players is on Siege Ramps yet, as far as I see. And Trebuchets, even though they are good, of course, they, they are a bit slow, in my opinion. Um, mm, and it looks like... Yeah, it looks like neither of the players has uh, like a lot of army, although Tar is on a good amount of plumes. Um, my thought is that if Tar is going for a good push right now, his odds are really high. If he can get another castle down, then Gooby is basically set um, back a whole part in this game. And I think that's the most important thing, getting the castles down. And from there on, his eco is pretty well, strong. 
Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> Get, actually, the, or yeah, getting rid of that uh, archery range. Hmm. But now over here on uh, the other side, Gooby is uh, getting in the wood line of uh, of Tar, killing a few villagers. Although, yeah, killing villagers at this, at this stage of the game that is not too oh. significant. And he's losing a lot of conquistadors, so I would helps, say. <laughs> but the conquistadors yeah. are more expensive than yeah. the eco, I think. Yeah, a lot more. Mm, that's a pain. Like, nice to see he overcuts, but not really paying off for Gooby here. Especially not because he will need those... Um, Conquistadors to really defend. He's gonna try and go for Cavalier right now, getting bloodlines in, um, mm. plate budding armor, but I feel like he's a little bit late. And now what he's doing with his military buildings, just a little bit too cocky because Tar is just going to push this down ASAP. Yeah. yeah with the no, just stay in your base for now. Mm -hmm. And I do I do understand the switch to uh, to um Cavalier, maybe even Paladin later on, uh, because one castle, it's it just takes so much time to 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 mess up the the conquistadors at this stage. If he would have had like a castle from right from the start and then continuously made conquistadors, and he might have had a nice army, but now he's got nothing, and then messing yeah. things back up, it's yeah, it's too slow. Yeah, I I completely agree. Like he only has one castle right now. If he had had three castles at his base right now, which he could have. Then it would have been completely fine to continue going conquistadors and maybe yeah. add in some siege. But now it's just kind of awkward. But he's doing a good job if he picks those trebuchets because that's going to slow down Tsar an awful lot. And that's going to give him some extra time to actually make this transition. Yeah. Oh man, a military count though. 53 for Tar. Even though that's, as far as I can see, only plumes. Uh, yeah, oh. but. Oh, but there's no for are not particularly well. uh, bad unit. Oh wow, even the hubs, which is responding to the stables immediately. That's good to see, in my opinion. Yeah, no, that's a that's a nice quick reaction and getting cap ramps now as well. So if he that's manages, going to give him a strong push. Yeah, yeah, that's indeed. He only has to keep the the plumes alive. Although uh, Gooby is getting onagers now and getting a lot of uh, siege workshops out. And if he could go with the the Cavalier and Siege, it's actually a pretty nice uh, army composition in my opinion. Versus, or yeah, considering what Tar has. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I agree. But that's only good mm, now. Yeah, that's Cavalier. a lot of onagers. You can't. Really careful here. Yeah. Yes. There's another Let's two see. backing him up, but he can try an eye micro here. Mm -hmm. But please don't see the other two. Oh, that's Ow. well. That's one really good shot for Gooby. And that's another Manganel out and no. another good shot. Let's no, they see. all know how now as well. Oh man. That's a lot of wasted plumes. <laughs> Rev Cavalier. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the thing, plumes are really strong oh. of course and oh yeah, basically lost all his plumes to Onagers. Yeah, they, they are risky in such a manner. Hmm. And then it's kind of like, what are you going to do against it? If I see how many resources Tarfazan has uh, banked up, <laughs> you would almost consider Eagles at this point, just to deal with the siege. Yeah. And then maybe try and do a sneaky push on the left side, get into this eco with Eagles. Because yeah. he simply has so much uh, resource stacked up right now. He can make plumes for days now as well. Which he is doing. It's... Or... No, not anymore. I thought he was messing up more, but uh, that was uh, some hover deers. Getting sea trams and yeah, switching into uh, plumes or uh, eagles. I think he, he should do that. Although I have to say the alberters are doing a pretty decent job at dealing with the onagers as well. Yeah, okay. It's just kind of pesky. Like once he has this line of cavaliers in front, the onagers are kind of going to decimate the halberdiers. I mean, they're going to be very cost-effective, but I'm not sure if it's going to allow Tar to actually push strongly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now Gooby is getting a nice Russian roulette of units here. Skirmishers, uh, uh, Cavalier, Onager, and now also Conquistadors again. He does have two castles, so it does work, uh, but he will have to oh, get the we... third castle up. And with those sea trams, to... yeah. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Think... Building a castle in front of eight siege trams is a good idea, though. <laughs> no, you should actually cancel it. 
Uh, come on, cancel it, man. Don't lose the stone. That's gonna be a lot of lost oh, stone. No. Oh, needs to be careful with the Onyx though. He's trying yeah. to go for the plumes, but oh, maybe that's man. a bit too greedy. He should no. have gone for the helps, I believe. Yeah, helps or sea tramps. Uh, but now he's getting. Oh, now nothing. he's losing the Onyx for free. There's another yeah. two coming in, but. Yeah, but he needs to deal with the, the ramps as, as fast as possible, and Onagers at with the army composition he has are the best uh, units to deal with it. Well, the Cavaliers obviously do pretty okay, but the Plumed Arches are... Oh man, not another one going down. Because the ramps are just going to kill the Onagers in one shot as well. There's a shot at the Plumes, but it's just not enough. No, 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 he didn't kill any si or a single Plumed. Mm, this looks really bad for Gooby, to be honest. Yeah. He, uh... I don't think... Oh, let me just check his res. He doesn't really have any gold. Do you want to know how much Relic gold uh, Tsar got so far? Uh, like 2k? Oh, you're underestimating it. He has 3.3k Relic gold oh, so wow. far. Yeah, that's a really and then he nice... even forgot to get a last one in, which is still yeah. free in the map, but okay. And now this is the army, if he would have had this like 10 or 15 minutes ago, he would have already GG'd Gooby, because look at how quick the sea tramps are tearing through the buildings. Yeah, and there's really nothing to stop it, and I think he could have maybe stretched it a little bit longer if I fo if he focused the uh, ramps and didn't get greedy with the onigas. Mm -hmm. Or uh, well, maybe just try to get a hit at the hubs, but going for the plumes was really greedy. Yeah, I think this is game. There's not even gold for Gooby to really rely on. He has the gold on the north, but yeah, that isn't could... going to be safe very long. Oh, that gold, yeah. He could sell some resources, but it's all too late. And that's only going to sustain him for a short while. He's getting multiple ranges up. He's gonna try it with... Uh... Skirmishes, I think, but... Oh, he's yeah, getting nah. archery ranges up. Yeah. To, still trying to get some onagers out, but... It's, uh, he wouldn't he need to mass them up. Then they might They're work. They're going down just as quick. Yeah. See, Trans one-shot the onagers easily. And the last castle going down, I believe and so. And we have the GG being called GG by Gooby. Indeed. Wow. Nice. So we have 1-1. One, one. Yeah, lovely to see. Yeah. Um, three thousand five hundred eighty-four relic gold. That is a worthy investment. Oh yeah, for sure.